is please have a look which are the, which are the references for no, 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 yeah, the last rib. We are we are going to palpate the last rib. So the problem here is that the references are the last rib and the iliac crest. But what happens here? What do you think is happening here? This is the last rib and this is the iliac crest. This is very close. So what I'm going to do is to position the patient. For example, a bit like this, this in flexion and this in a bit of extension to open this space. Okay? About putting a pillow here. If we don't have enough space, we put a pillow here. Or we use these typical benches that are pushing up. Okay? But usually this is a mid position, it would be fine. So we usually put this in flexion to make the pelvic imbalance to to fall, okay? So the references are last rib, last rib and the iliac crest. So the most important thing here is that you have to be very posterior because if considering the last rib, I'm doing this, I can get to the kidneys. Okay. So what I'm going is to go back. So I follow the last rib and I go back, 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 back until I feel a rope which is just crossing with the paravertebral muscles. So here you can feel all these paravertebral muscles, they are very soft and just immediately anterior to this we find like a rope which is going in this direction. Okay? So this is quadratus lumborum, this one. Okay? Do you feel? So which is the important thing? To be as posterior as possible but not so posterior to be in the paravertebralis. So, we are going to do, there are usually one location just here in the angle of the rib and the other in L3. So we are going to do this or this. And then we will move to these oblique fibers and we will do these fibers, okay? So, dejame el antiséptico pues. So I'm going to ask you what you feel and I will tell you what I'm feeling also. Okay. Uh, agujas de cinco. So for me, I'm following the rib. So this part, it seems a bit tender. Perhaps this is even worse. This, what do you think? This? Yes. Okay, so if I'm here, which is the problem, that sometimes I'm very close to the rim. So I need to leave like a bit of a space. So sometimes what I do is to put my other finger against the rim and just try to make like a bit of pushing here to give this space. If you realize, I'm also increasing the area like to make a bit of floor. Okay? Do you see it? Because if I don't push this out, the problem is that sometimes it's going to bend the needle like this, so I will go anteriorly and it's dangerous. So I want to be parallel or perhaps with an inclination a bit posterior, but very slight, not very much, because the danger is to go anterior, okay? So if I'm here, I haven't inserted. So I'm going to do it, one, two, three. So now I'm going to explore for trigger points, some of sometimes they are very deep, so it's fine. <coughs> yeah. Mm. Now, yeah. do you feel that? Yes. Okay. So where I feel trigger points, I can be just working in that area. It's not necessary to take everything out and in. So the important thing is to be like this, or if you have any doubt a bit like this, but not too much, because if not, what's happening? 
you are not going to get to the deep quadratus bottom. You will go through palo vertebralis or the needle will appear here or okay. So depending on the inclination. So we can do a bit more, more, more. There are a lot of twitches, I think. Do you feel it well? So usually, sometimes you can see it, but you are always going to feel it very well, although they are very deep. What's okay? the size of the needle? This Wait. is uh, five. Yeah. It depends on the patient. So, for example, some patients, I had a patient that I was using a 75 for this, and I think that for some of them also 100, I don't know, because some of them... The only thing is that you have to try to flatten the tissue as much as possible. So then I can just do the same but two fingers down because here usually in the transfer process of L3 we are usually finding some trigger points. What about this? No. I think here well I think here is much better perhaps perhaps this or well it doesn't look very bad. So this is just the same. I'm going, but in this case, the the end field will be in the last time the the process, okay, the transfer process. But I'm going to do like this, not doing anterior. Uh, although in this uh, height, perhaps it's not so dangerous now, okay. Well, anyway, you never have to incline like this, okay. I, it's obvious, but well, now regarding the um, oblique fibers. I have two options. I can do it palpating like this, so sometimes if I feel an oblique trigger point, I may compress this and do like this, okay? Or sometimes I can be in pro position and doing the insertion against the iliac crest, okay? I'm going to feel if we palpate some of them. What about this? Is it painful or...? Yeah? yeah? Okay, so for example, if I'm feeling a top band like this, what I'm going is to compress this and I'm going to put it like here, okay? <coughs> this is one option, and the other, we can show it in prone. It would be like in the thorax approaches. We are going to do parallel through the, the <coughs> to the iliac crest. Here you don't have uh, any risk. Okay, this is very low now, so the main risks are here in this part. fibers if you have a look we are really posterior okay and we can palpate them tell me what you feel here <coughs> now twitch no a bit more here okay here well I felt a lot of twitches perhaps some a bit more okay do you need to review this? Some of you want to change the position or? Okay, so change the position. <coughs> we just say, we simulate, okay? Did you have any <coughs> pain to the gluteus or? 